Okay, first step in installing this Xbox 360 wireless receiver, we want to run this download that's listed in the description. This is the driver pack for the receiver. So go ahead and double click this, run it. Once it finishes it, it allows you to see the drivers um, to install the device. Once you plug in the device, you'll see that it comes up as a unknown device on your machine. You're going to right click that, go to update driver software. You're going to browse my computer and you're going to let me pick. You can scroll all the way to the bottom to see Xbox 360 peripherals. Click Next. And scroll all the way to the bottom again, and you'll see Xbox 360 wireless receiver version 10. Go ahead and click Next, and click Yes, and it will install that driver. So now you're ready to hook up your Xbox 360 controller to your Windows 10 machine. Yeti, should I turn on the Xbox? Okay. Okay, now that we have the drivers installed for the Xbox 360 controller and we have our Xbox One turned on, we're going to go onto our Windows 10 machine again and turn on your Xbox 360 controller. You'll hear it connect. And then we're going to launch this Xbox app that's available in Windows 10. Then you'll see within the Xbox app you'll have this option to stream your gaming. So this game streaming option, go ahead and click on that. What it'll do is it'll find any Xbox One that's on your Wi-Fi network and it'll connect to it. So now you can see I'm connected to my Xbox One via my Windows 10 machine and I am controlling it with the Xbox 360 controller. So let me uh, give you a different screenshot of this so you can see it all at once. Okay guys, just wanted to show you everything working together. So we have the Windows 10 laptop running the Xbox app and it's connected to the Xbox One using game streaming. We have the Xbox 360 wireless dongle plugged in and the driver is installed. And we have our Xbox 360 controller connected. So you go ahead and see it, it will be controlling the Xbox One. Then the Xbox One controller working simultaneously. So this works great with a mixture of Xbox One controllers and Xbox 360 controllers. I wanted to find a way to do this because I only have one Xbox One controller and I have five Xbox 360 controllers so it saves me a lot of money so I don't have to buy new controllers. If you guys like this video go ahead and like it. Please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. You guys have a great day.